Hello, uh, my name is Aira Beverly Stone. I'm doing vertical farming food for salt. Food. Sweet, salty, bitter, creamy. Food is a necessity for life. But did you know that over 20% of New Zealand's own produced food is exported to other countries because of higher profit margins? Couple this with the fact that between 1975 and 2012, 9% of New Zealand's horticulture land was converted into another use. Probably the most concerning of all, though, is New Zealand's unpredictable weather, which is causing farmers across the country to lose crops by the fields. This not only means less produce available on the market, but an increase in price. Who can afford an $8 avocado? Today I am going to discuss new horticulture technology which I believe will benefit New Zealand for vertical farming. Vertical farming is the process of growing produce in a vertical stacked manner rather than a horizontal traditional farm. These are usually built in buildings, warehouses or even shipping containers. But knowing how to grow plants indoors means learning about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a key process used by all plants to turn energy from the sun into energy the plant can use to function, called glucose. The equation of photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water under light equals glucose plus oxygen. In vertical farming, photosynthesis is incorporated by using one of two methods, a hydroponic system or an aeroponic system. Neither uses soil. Hydroponics involves growing produce in a water solution supported by a reusable cloth. A water pump circulates the water and nutrient solution through the roots of the plant. Aeroponics is similar, however instead of a constant flow of water, the nutrient spray is misted through the roots. Both hydroponics and aeroponics create an optimal environment for produce to grow. Bar one thing, light. Since vertical farm usually involves growing plants indoors, farmers needed to come up with a technology which replaced the light from the sun. Most commonly, light emitting diodes, or LEDs, are used for vertical farms. LEDs are dialed to specific colors red and blue needed by produce, and they also use less, less heat and energy than conventional lights. Combining all this technology, produce has all the necessary things needed to grow. But you may be thinking, what is the benefit to New Zealand? Vertical farming has many tangible benefits. Since produce is not reliant on temperature or other factors to grow, Food can be harvested 365 days a year. And vertical farming also solves another big environmental problem, water usage. It is known that vertical farms use 70% less water than traditional farms. And since produce from vertical farms is grown indoors, the crops are not affected by extreme natural weather events, such as droughts or floods, which can be catastrophic for traditional farms. Since the produce is grown in a controlled indoor environment, there is no need for pesticides or fertilizers. This not only makes our food fertilizer free, but it also reduces our soil consumption, contamination. Vertical farming makes use of vertical space, meaning more produce can be grown per acre than it can on traditional farms. Now, vertical farming may seem like a waste of energy, why grow produce indoors when you can grow it for practically free outdoors? But vertical farms are known to make up their consumed energy using reusable energy sources such as solar panels, wind turbines or biodigesters. Not only does it have all these environmental and economic benefits, but it also holds an important social benefit. With an increased constant supply of produce in local markets, price and availability of fresh fruits and vegetables becomes more accessible to low income families. 
In this way, vertical farming, paired with other programs, can not only encourage healthy eating, but might even lower our immense obesity statistics. It is already providing a success overseas. Air Farms, an American vertical farming company, has already built four functioning farms in unused buildings such as nightclubs, steel mills, and paper arenas. They are also supporting the local community by providing air farm kits to schools to encourage the growing and eating of healthy food for children. They estimate that just one meter squared of vertical farm growing space could feed three people for an entire year. Now, New Zealand should apply vertical farming across the country to provide better food security, lower produce prices, and less of a reliance on international food imports. We need to come together to support good, healthy, local food in New Zealand. Thank you.